Hey guys, so welcome to this Learn Altium in 5 minutes video series and today we're gonna finally try to find our favorite components from the manufacturer. In the previous video I, sh I showed you about the components and some of the things that has inside of the components and some of the things you have to understand. You have to make sure that they're inside of there before you do the layout, okay? But today, today, I am going to show you how you can add your favorite manufacturer part or your favorite component inside of your design. So all you have to do is first go to the, our favorite panel. This is something we always like, right? And then you're going to click on this manufacturer parts church, okay? So once you click on here, you will see the same kind of window like we did before on our um, component video, right? And maybe there is some um, little thing you, you might be just be very familiar about it as well. But we don't really care about anything. So I, I want to find something like a electromagnetic relay or things like that. So I will just click on here and then I'll see a lot of different ones and there are all uh, lots of relays that I want to add to my design or things like that. And one thing I kind of want to tell you is that if you look in the left, it means, this literally means, this small things literally means, I mean that this one literally means is that it comes with a model, like it's saying it has a model, pretty cool, that means you don't have to worry about the footprints, you don't have to worry about creating a models, it's automatically have created for you. And I believe it's because of the Octopart, and Octopart is a, a website that has all, a good search engine for finding components from different suppliers. And some of the people, very generous people, they make eCAD models for you so that you don't have to spend tons of time to um, make those eCAD models. And on the right hand side, you can see this kind of price and quantities and how many stocks they have of the component, right? And if you go more to the right side, then you can just see this contact mat materials and some little silly part of it. So we're gonna just add this thing. So if you just click, I'm thinking about I'm just gonna, I'm interested in this one. So if you click on here, you can go down more like, um, let's just go here, um, details. Here you go. So you can, you can click on the details and you can definitely see some, um, the models that is involved and the, the 3D models here. And if you click on the 2D, it's gonna show you the footprints and they have the data sheet. Very awesome, very awesome. And it has the parameters. If you click on um, show more, you can see all the kind of information that you need for the model. Isn't this kind of cool, guys? But the question comes, oh yeah, pretty cool, but how can I add it? It's more simple, it's more simple. So what you gotta do is, you can you can either right click, and if you, if you do right click, you have an option to save on your cloud, which is a save to my workplace. And the second part is you can, you can either download them as a file library. So it's kind of all up to you what you want to do with that. But personally, I like that to save in my cloud so it's more easy. So what I'm going to do is save to my workplace. Or else you can just like click here, right? Just click here, automatically it's going to just take you there. And I'm going to go to the relay section. And I'm going to say, yeah, there's a relay. Yeah, I'm going to click on it. And once I click on it, you'll see this window. This is a very important window and, and very awesome as well. So things... Are one thing I noticed that a lot of information are not included here because maybe they are not decided to include it or something. So if you want to add them, you can definitely just um, click on here and add some kind of values if you want to. But I don't really bother about it. And so I'm just going to leave the parameter as it is. And I can go to the model section. I just want to make sure that things are included, means added. So it seems like they are added already on the data sheet. They are also added. Very nice. And now I'm going to just click OK and I'm going to add it. And once I click OK, guess what? A wind, the same window we've seen before on the component, remember? It just popped up. And, and and we already have verified our section. Now we finally want to use it, okay? We finally want to use it. We finally want to see it in our design. So let, we have to make sure that we, we save it first. So one way to save it is basically I just click on um, close, kind of, and then I just say like save here. And once I do it, it's automatically saving. By the way, I got a, a warning. Well, by the way, it's not a, hopefully it's not an error because if it's an error, the things won't get saved and that's a really pain. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's an error. It seems like there's some kind of pain errors there. Hopefully it will allow me to use it. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Let's see if it allows me to use it. So you have to make sure that there's no error and you have to kind of take care of it. But seems like it's already saving it. Maybe it's working, maybe not. Depends. Let's see. So now that it's saved, I guess. Try to see if I can place it. Oh my gosh, it worked. It's saved. So I can just like click here. And then now it's, 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 it's now ready to go. 
and another another way you can f try to find your um, component is basically um, going to the going to the panel again, and now going to the components. And remember, we have saved it on um, as a relay. So we're gonna click on the relay, and we try to see if we can find it or not. Here you go. Here's our here's our cool part. Here you go. This is the one we just downloaded. And now you can either hold this with your right or left, left hand, left. <laughs> oh my God! I don't know what to say. Left of your mouse. You can hold it and drag it to here. Right, so cool, very cool, and you can double click there and just to see that if things that you want are here or not. Right, seems like everything is looking pretty good to go, and and you can also like add, see the footprint if it's there or not. Seems like everything is working, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. So that's it. That's it all for the video. I will see you on the next one, and also please, if you like the video, subscribe.